in loving memory of humanity's countless lost children, particularly the many forgotten and unknown boys and girls who were stolen from us. A month on Mount Calvary for the Feast of the Presentation of Our Lord Jesus Christ in the Temple on February 2nd. Guess what's coming on Thursday in the Holy Silence, Holy Stillness, Holy Hiddenness, and through Christ's Holy Poverty on the Cross? Just guess. No one will be able to stop it, either. It's not possible. Thanks be to God and His Immaculate Mother. Please note that all the Catholic mystical theology lessons taught at the School of Sacrificial Love within the Divine Soul of our Redeemer and Restorer at the Inner Sanctum for Crucified Souls on Mount Calvary are to be generalized to each person and his or her vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, having become one in Christ and unified with his salvific mission and his reparative suffering, for the greater honor and glory of our triune God first and foremost, and then for the massive conversion of sinners, non-believers, and treasonous Catholics, for the defeat of grave evil in our time, for the restoration of Christ's desecrated Catholic Church, sacred priesthood, and people, and for the sanctification and eternal salvation of all souls not limited to time and place, including one's own poor soul. One day, the week before, while making a morning offering before the devotion to the holy face of Jesus at home, Almighty God has moved the mystical portal through which the misdirected free will of man is welcoming grave evil into our world. He had it in the Catholic Church that he had personally and formally consecrated to his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus for the sake of the whole world. But since it is doing Lucifer's work, he has moved it here before the devotion to his holy face, which was supposed to have been established at the parish of his choosing, but it was not. There before the devotion to the holy face of Jesus at home, while praying at the wedding kneeler, shoeless and veiled in black as he requested, while offering all the reparation Almighty God had you make, in imitation of and in union with Christ, it is presented to your spiritual vision that this reparation is pouring from you and is falling into this mystical hole that Almighty God was blocking for the sake of the whole world with a pillar of fire that is Him. The reparation is helping close up this portal that remains open because of the misdirected use of the free will of man. Some people are committing unfathomably evil acts such as preying upon their fellow man, among them the most innocent and vulnerable, in God's most holy name, while others keep it open through self-interest of various degrees of severity. What is clear is that mankind in our time is giving the demons free reign to come at us, as the Catholic world is by Luciferian modernist professed Catholic design largely kept distracted non-thinking, misled, deceived, not making holy spiritual progression, idolatrous, entertained, sensual, and self-interested. Reparation generously made and offered to Almighty God through the holy face of Jesus is now presented pouring forth in this manner as the remedy to defeat all this evil and to help save souls. This is accomplished when the work is unified with Christ and in three important ways. Divine union with his real presence in the Blessed Sacrament while in the state of grace, union with his salvific mission, and union with his reparative suffering. A Sunday of reparation in late January. 
overnight and in the morning. Our Lord has you make more reparation overnight and through most of the morning, as happened the day before on Saturday, and then lets you tend to some other duties. As in all things, may God's will be done. But first you make a daily offering. This is what happened there while appealing for the sake of the whole world, especially for those enslaved to the most evil forces of darkness, both directly and also through the wicked, and are unable to obtain their liberation without divine assistance from Almighty God through Christ our Redeemer, Restorer, and Remedy for all. A late January Sunday of Reparation Daily Offering before the devotion to the holy face of Jesus, in anticipation of the feast of the presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ in the temple this week, on Thursday, February 2nd. While kneeling shoeless and veiled in black, as our Lord had requested, the following is suddenly presented. Almighty God, our Father of mercies, assumes his first place above all there before the devotion to the holy face of Jesus, and then our Savior is manifested, crucified on the cross. God, our sovereign authority, is pouring superabundant amounts of lavish graces through Jesus upon the whole world through the priestly ministry of the consecrated pastor of his choosing, who is mystically present before you in front of the cross, elevating a sacred host above a gold chalice of reparation containing the precious blood of Jesus, which is flowing from his sacred heart through the lance wound in his side. Almighty God's graces pour first through Christ and then through Father, and then through the blessed sacrament he is elevating, and then through you, kneeling before our Lord's three-in-one devotion to his sacred heart, divine mercy, and holy face. Remember that for the purposes of these restoring the mystical body of Christ, with the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, mystical theology lessons, you represent the work of reparation to the holy face of our Savior, you represent each person's holy apostolate of reparation, and you also represent you. This mystical outpouring of graces contained within the adorable blood of Jesus crucified on the cross, below God our Father, then pours through all those who have and who are making reparation as Almighty God wills, in imitation of and in union with Christ, with purity of intention, devoid of self-interest, and then pours forth to the faithful as needed, and then to the entire world, which is now mystically present inside this room with no boundaries. Present among the living are the occupants of heaven and the holy angels who are our intercessors. What a sight! Then it is revealed from on high that while this is what takes place when we make reparation properly, there is going to be a massive outpouring of graces in this manner on Thursday, February 2nd, in our Lord's consecrated Catholic Church during the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass for the feast of the presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ in the temple, and no one will be able to stop it, not Lucifer or any of his demons or his disciples. Thanks be to God and the maternal intercession of the Immaculate Mother of God, the Mediatrix of all his lavish graces. A Sunday of Reparation Afternoon Holy Hour in a consecrated Catholic Church in between Holy Masses on January 29th. Our Lord allows you to sit for a short while in the blissful Holy Silence, Holy Hiddenness, Holy Stillness, and Holy Poverty in the dark, and this brings you tremendous joy. It's priceless and so peaceful. So hard to come by in our world today, this incredibly valuable solitude with our triune God. Then, all of a sudden, there is a massive outpouring of Christ's mystical suffering from his real presence in the Blessed Sacrament, 
locked inside the tabernacle behind the altar, and his ongoing suffering fills the entire airspace inside the church. Jesus then beckons you to enter into it and join him there, within it, here, praying the chaplet of divine mercy while meditating on and sharing in Christ's sacred passion. You join Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane for the mystical representation of his sacred passion, for the greater honor and glory of the Blessed Trinity, and then for the sake of the whole world. The following takes place while kneeling on the ground there. You join Jesus in his ongoing mystical suffering within his real presence in the Blessed Sacrament, which fills this entire Catholic Church. And in this manner, your mystical marriage with the Divine Bridegroom of every soul is manifested for the sake of the whole world. It is in this particular way on this day that the rest of the chaplet of Divine Mercy is prayed. What wonders! However, our Lord is not finished today. Not yet. After the presentation of the prayers of reparation to the holy face of Jesus for the sake of the whole world at the pillar, his carrying of the cross. It is as Jesus carries the cross to Mount Calvary that our Lord reveals that his mystical suffering, which has poured forth from his real presence in the Blessed Sacrament on Mount Calvary, inside this consecrated Catholic Church of Almighty God's choosing, represents an outpouring of his suffering that is meant to be shared by Catholics, but most of them are being misled, kept distracted, are being taught incorrectly, follow men instead of God, have many idols, and are being consumed by self-interest, which includes picking and choosing among God's laws, instead of worshiping and serving God alone, honoring his commandments, including his greatest two, and doing what he says, meaning striving to accomplish his will at all times. This is why victim souls and crucified souls are necessary to make up for this through the spending of oneself in imitation of and in union with Christ crucified on the cross in order to appease the anger of Almighty God to mitigate his divine justice and to console the sacred heart of Jesus forever unified with the immaculate heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A faithful soul is more powerful than hell, but a crucified soul is more powerful than 1,000 hells. Mary crushes the serpent. This is also why Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, has, at this time in human history, represented his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus from his French city of Detroit for the sake of the whole world, in particular for all the reasons stated at the beginning of this lesson. From the powerful booklet, Mary Crushes the Serpent, the demons maintain that the sins of men give them power over men. They say that God permits demons to keep what they have won through the misdirected free will of man, and only the free will of man can take from them what the free will of man has given them. Through the willful suffering of victim souls, the demons are deprived of that which men have given them through sin, his crucifixion. As you join Jesus during the mystical representation of his crucifixion, there inside the inner sanctum for crucified souls on Mount Calvary, our Lord pays a special tribute to his mothers of reparation, beginning with his Immaculate Mother, who is also the mother of his Catholic Church, his sacred priesthood, his people, and the work of reparation to his holy face. That night. Late into the night, you suddenly hear Lucifer, the beast, begin growling. Then he says in words that make no sound, One more week. 
entrust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. St. John Bosco To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, and your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, and so much more, visit www.josephcarlpublishing.com. Make holy spiritual progression and keep checking back to see what's new for you for the sake of all others. Thanks be to God and his Immaculate Mother. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners. And he still means it.